education is key, though. This program I'm in, this the city scholars and the city college, they embrace me. And if you have a hustle, study it. Study your hustle. And then make your money. You know, you might not know it all right now. But if you keep studying and prepare yourself and put yourself in a position, not right here, where nobody's volunteering to come, they're telling you you have to come. See? And this is just warming you up for prison. Mm -hmm. Where you don't have a say so. Where you don't have no soap. Where you got to put on somebody else's drawers. And they got stains in them. And you got to put them on. Yeah, that, that's just fast. I'm just it's telling been you. For three years, they still got to work. They prison at 22. And then they let me out at 42. That, that's, that's what happens when, when you keep playing with the game. They get tired of it. Mm -hmm. And they set you down. And your laughing turn to tears. See? Because you'll be begging to be back in this position. You'll be begging to be free with the half See, because you, you got a leash on them. But you got a leash on them. That, that's just what it is. That's a leash. I got a leash on me. Parole is a leash. They let me out the cage and put a leash on them. That's what parole is. They can yank you back anytime they want to. I'm trying to get them back to leave. I don't want no kudos from coming here. This is my duty to talk to the youth that's going down the same street that's a dead end. They got a prison and a cemetery. Pick it. Mm. That's, that's just what it is, man. You know, y'all filling up y'all gas tanks ready to go down that street. You don't have to. So take advantage of the situation and these opportunities because I'm telling you, you was coming to prison, young man, and I was having a say-so on what you did and how you act. I had a say-so in that, especially the black men. The Mexicans, your big homie was my homeboy. I'm telling him how he should do you, and he telling me how I should do mine. We all together. That's how sick, and that's how, you know, you can get yourself in that position to where you're being dictated. It's ugly fast. Because if not, you're going to come home with all your teeth missing, <laughs> retarded, scarred, on dope, on medicine. You know, you might switch sides when you don't even know who you are no more. You know, that's what prison can do. It starts off with this juvenile stuff. I was there in juvie, unit 100, then the camp hall, then this, then that. Went to prison. You ain't got to do it, man. And this, this is, it feels good for me to come here and say this to you. See, that's what I do it for. Because I was in prison, seeing y'all come in, Xanaxed out. Mm -hmm. Can't call nobody and stole out your auntie purse. Can't get me. I got to get some Show you how to act up in here. And you laugh. That's what I'm saying. I laugh. And I'm telling you, it turns into to frowns when your parents die, when your kids get took, and stuff like that. When you're in prison because you're playing. But I'm not here to scold you. I'm your friend. You can contact me through here. I got business cards. I'm with fitness and nutrition because that was important to me in prison because I seen people that couldn't go home mm -hmm. because they died. Heart attack, diabetes, leukemia, you know, old age, heart attack. Is it, 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 how was I gonna make it out 20 years looking ahead? How, how can I put myself in a position to get back out here to speak to y'all? You know, and do something for my son that's 25 that's all messed up in another state, but I'm talking to strangers. I ain't even there for my son. He's at risk you, you see? But I gotta do this to get there. I got to tighten myself up and get off the roll. But thank you for your time. I love all of y'all. Peace.